Hey everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from Hogwarts Legacy with another little tip and trick for you guys. If you guys are looking to get a bunch of money, and if you're looking to have a little bit of fun doing a little bit of collecting, uh, then this video is definitely for you. Behind me is a store called Brood and Peck, okay? Now, this is a place where you can buy it, and, uh, or this is a place where you can sell animals and buy like uh, the goods that you get from animals also, from the beasts around the world. And this is the thing that we're going to use <laughs> to make tons and tons of money. Now, in order for this tip to work, you're going to need to already have the knapsack. So keep progressing through the game until you get that. That'll allow you to catch beasts. And if you go talk to the owner in here... Come in! Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. You'll just meet Ellie Peck here. She is just standing here behind the counter, and if you talk to her, you can actually now, sell her the beasts that you catch. What products might you be looking to acquire? Any beast that you have caught with your knapsack, you can sell to her for a cool price of 120 gold, which is awesome. Now, it does not matter whether they are the regular kind or whether they are the shiny kind. It doesn't really matter. They're all 120, so you can just go and binge all the uh, all the beasts you want. I almost called them Pokemon. Speaking of which, uh, there are shiny beasts in the world, apparently. They, you'll, you can tell that they're shiny because they have a little star next to their little gender symbol up there. Shiny beasts are a bit rare, but you can actually find them if you just keep going back and checking the beasts in. Just keep an eye out for them, because they're a little rare and they're fun to collect. If 120 gold is given to you per beast that you sell, it doesn't really matter which beast you actually catch then. So you're going to want to go after the easiest ones. And the easiest ones to catch are the puff skins. These things are easy, easy, easy to catch because they only take one cycle of your bag to catch. I mean, you could go after other ones like uh, the Thestrals up here in the north, but the problem is that the Thestrals are actually, uh, they're actually kind of difficult to catch because they take like five passes. And, you know, there's, there's other ones too like the, uh, the Jabberknolls here. These guys are easy-ish to catch, but they only, t they take like three. So the Puffskins are definitely the easiest ones. You can find some out here in the Black Forest also, in the, or in the Forbidden Forest. You can also find some much easier just next to the castle right here. And what's best about this location right here, if you mark it on your map, is that right here is a, uh, a flu network connection. So we're going to go to this one right here in the Forbidden Forest. And here we are at the Forbidden Forest with the honking uh, flowers there. I get a kick out of those things. Right at the entrance of the Forbidden Forest. We're not actually going to go there. We're going to be heading to that marker right there. If you have a broom, hop on it. Otherwise, follow the waypoint. And once you get close so you don't spook them, land a little bit short. And I like to go in kind of quiet, but these guys are actually pretty pretty easy to catch. So you just get in there, and now there's a whole bunch of them. Now, you might find a shiny one doing this, actually. And you can see, as he, as I'm standing here, you can see the, the, the puff skin and the gender up there above them. That's for breeding purposes, but uh, you can uh, see if there's actually a shiny one in the area. Now, I did spook him a little bit, so we're just going to go ahead and grab one right here. Grab him, put him in the bag, and he's caught. It's that simple. 120 gold, just like that. Catch as many of them as you can, and then return to the store in Hogsmeade to sell them all, then. <laughs> Revelio. Revelio is a good way to try to find them also if they kind of run off on you. But if they have run off, and if there is no, uh, none of them that you can find, not to worry, pull up your map again, and simply head back to the flu network location there. Hop on your broom, and head right back there. <laughs> and you'll see that some of these guys have come back already, just after just that quick little trip. So you can just run up and catch some more. <laughs> now, if you do this enough, you might get lucky enough to find a shiny beast. Like this one here. They're usually pale in color. And they don't sell for anything extra, but they are fun to try to collect. <laughs> Professor Howen will never believe this. Now, once your inventory is completely full of creatures that you would like to sell, head on back to Brood and Peck. By selling all the extra beasts that you've captured, you can make a ton of money. <laughs> Just make sure not to sell the shiny ones, unless you really don't care, because those things are kind of hard to come by. Plus, having shiny beasts in your vivarium is just kind of awesome. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Just rinse and repeat, get a bunch of money, and see if you can't go out there and catch yourself a couple of shiny beasts. If you did enjoy this quick little tip on how to make a whole bunch of money and catch shiny beasts, uh, please be sure to leave a like. And if you enjoy the content on my channel, consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching, and bye-bye.